ज्ञानजनशलाकय चक्षुन्मील तस्म श्रीगुरव नम श्रीचैतन्य मनोभीष्ट स्थापित ये नूतले स्वयं रूप कदा ददाती स्वदाति वंदेहम श्रीगुरु श्रीयुत पदकमल श्रीगुर वैष्णवांश श्रीरूप सागर जात सह गण रघुनाता तम सजीव साइत सवदूत परिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य दीव श्रीराधा कृष्ण पदा सह गण ललिता श्री विशाखाता नम ओं विष्णुपाधाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वत देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादे पाश्चात्य देश तारिणे हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधु जगतपते गोपेश गोपे गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगे राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वाचाकलतरूभ्य कृपा सिंधुब्य पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीअद्वैत गाधर श्रीवासादि गौर भक्तरिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण सो वेलकम टू द श्री नाम अष्टक सेमिनार लास्ट टू डेज वी कुड नॉट हैव द क्लास बिकॉज वी वेर ट्रेवलिंग so we have up to now completed uh, three verses of the namashtaka discussion in the last class we just recited the fourth verse today i will just uh, briefly recap the flow in the shri ma namashtaka from verses 1 to 3 and then we will go to verse 4 in the beginning of our shri namashtaka seminar Uh, we discussed Srila Prabhupada on Namastaka. We saw various quotations from the Bhagavatam, Chaitanya Charita Amrit about the glory of uh, chanting these prayers to Sri Nam Prabhu, which is composed by Sri Rupa Goswami in his Stava Stava Mala, <clears throat> and it is placed in the end. We saw that, and then we looked into the introduction. uh to this uh, shri namashtaka uh by vidwan gaurang prabhu who has actually translated this work then we went into the first verse in the first verse uh, the flow is that <clears throat> baldev vidyabhushan offers his obeisances to shri krishna nam and just by nama bhas the yogis who are de- uh, desiring liberation can be attained so this is the glory and that's why uh, rupa goswami begins his glorification of the bhagavat naam with nikila ityadi that is the nikila shruti mauli ratnamala and after this first verse 
in the second verse, the flow is, uh, how can I take shelter who is overcome with sinful reactions? <clears throat> because in the first verse it was mentioned, I mukta kuler upasimanam. Those who are actually liberated can actually chant the glories of the holy name. But I am uh, bound by my sinful reactions. So anticipating this objection, the second verse speaks about how even anadaratapi manag udiritam, you know, nikilogra tap patilam vilam pasi. This is the glory of the holy name. Jaya nama deha muni vrinda geha janaranjanaya paramaksha even with <clears throat> disrespectfully anadaratapi, <clears throat> the slight reflection of the holy name destroys nikil ugra. You know, it destroys the terrible miseries of the chanter. So this is the glory of the holy name. So this we discussed the commentary of uh, both Baldevidya Bhushan and Prabhupada. In the third verse, <clears throat> uh, the flow is uh, <clears throat> the reflection of the holy name burns the sinful reactions and stops. With that, no. It also further awakens pure devotional service. And that's what is discussed in the third verse. Yadda bhasya uddan uddyan kavila kavilita bhavadvanta vipavo darsham tatvanda nam apidishati bhakti prana yinim janasta sudhatam jagati bhagavan nam tarene kritite nirvaktum kahiya mahimam prabhavati. The son of the holy name, you know, uh, in this world, uh, who exalted devotees can glorify because its mere reflection when it arises destroys the ignorance of material existence, kavalita bhava dvanta vibhav, and uh, grants vision, drishyam pertaining to pure devotional service, bhakta pranayinim. Even those blind to the truths of spiritual existence. Tatvandanam api. So this is the glory. Not only it stops with uh, only destruction of sinful reactions, which is a byproduct in fact. The real glory of the holy name is it bestows Krishna Prem. So that was discussed in the third verse. And now we come to the fourth verse. <clears throat> And now in the fourth verse, he says that the holy name one worshipped exclusively. Destroys one's prarabdha karma. Nama bhogena vinasham api prarabdha vinaiva. Though it can be destroyed only through experience of the results of that prarabdha karma. Actually, prarabdha karma results have to be experienced. But the holy name, when it is ekantika, with full concentration, exclusive, when it is chanted, then it destroys the prarabdha karma without the person experiencing it, without experiencing the results. Whereas those in the path of Jnana and Ashtanga, uh, in order to have darshan of Brahman, uh, their prarabdha karmas are an obstacle. They have to experience that in this life and in the future lives, many, many lives, until they can get that vision and ultimately get liberated. So this is the glory of the holy name. So let us recite now this text 4. Yad Brahma Sakshat Kriti Nishtayapi Vinasham Mayati Vina Nabhoge Apaiti Nama Spurne Natate Prarabdha karmeti viroti vedaha. Yad brahma sakshat kriti nishtayapi. Vinasham mayati vinana bhoge. Apaiti nama spurane natate. Prarabdha karmeti viroti vedaha. 
यदब्रह्मसाक्षात्तिष्टयापि विनाशम मयाति विना न भोगे अपैति नाम स्फुने न तत्ते प्रारब्ध कर्मेति विरोति वेद एनी वन वुड लाइक टू रिसाइट वन फ्रॉम द प्रभु जी साइड एंड वन फ्रॉम द माता जी साइड यस प्रिय माता जी हरे कृष्ण प्रभु जी धन्यवाद प्रणाम यद ब्रह्म साक्षात कृति निष्ठया पी विनाशाम आयति विना न भोगे अपैति नाम तत्ते प्रारब्ध कर्मे तिविरावति वेद एक्सलेंट वेरी गुड वेद एनी वन एल्स वुड लाइक टू ट्राई दुर्गा प्रसाद प्रभु जी Yes, Radha Kund Prabhu Ji. Yad Brahma Sakshat Kriti Nishtayapi Vinasham Ayati Vidana Bhogai Apaiti Nama Spunena Tatte Prarabdha Karmeti Virauti Vedaha Excellent. O Holy Name, Nama. It is in Sambodhan, that's why O Holy Name. The Vedas proclaim that Veda Viroti. The Viroti means they proclaim loudly that Prarabdha Karma, Prarabdha Karmeti, which does not attain destruction, Vinasham Na Ayati, without Vina, experience of the results of that Prarabdha Karma, Bhoge, despite uninterrupted direct experience of the Supreme Brahman, Yad Brahma Sakshad Kriti Nishtayapi. Goes away, apeti, merely by your appearance. Purne na tatte. So, <clears throat> this uh, Brahma Sakshat refers to uh, the Brahman abs uh, aspect of the Absolute Truth, not the Bhagavan aspect. Because the Gyanis and Augis, uh, either they meditate on the Brahman uh, aspect of the Absolute Truth or the Paramatma aspect. Okay, now this uh, commentary of uh, Baldevidya Bhushan is a little technical, uh, but Bhaktivinoda Thakur keeps it very simple. So we'll go to the commentary. <clears throat> Yaya Brahmana Paramatmana Sakshat Kriti Sya Tathapi Avichana Taila Dharavat Pravrittaya Nishtaya Brahma Chintaya Tat Prarabdham Karma Bhoger विना न विनाशम आयाति हे नाम तत्ते स्मरणे न जिवादो भासनेय ना भासनेव आप भासनेव आपेति दूरी भवति विश्लिष्ट इति वेदो विरोति ओ होली नेम हे नाम प्रारब्ध कर्म which does not attain destruction without experience of the results of that prarabdha karma. <clears throat> prarabdha karma bhoger vina na vinasham ayati. <clears throat> Even with uninterrupted meditation on the Supreme Soul, like the uninterrupted flow of oil by which one can attain direct experience of the Supreme Brahman. Yaya Brahmana Paramatma Sakshat Kriti Syat Tatapi Avichan Taila Dharavat. Avichan means uninterrupted. And Taila Dharavat, just like the oil which flows uninterruptedly. Even if the meditation is uninterrupted, that is the point being made. <clears throat> the results of the prarabdha karma are not destroyed until that practitioner experiences the results. That is, the Supreme Soul goes away. That is disconnected simply by your appearance on the tongue and so on. The Vedas proclaim this. Veda Viroti. तत्ते स्पूर्णे न जिवादो भासनेवा भासनेवा पेति दूरी भवति इट गोज़ अवे सिंपली बाय द अपीरेंस 
on the tongue and so on. Jivado. So here it has to be understood. It is not that uh, by chanting Nama Prad, <laughs> uh, this goes away. It is only Nama Bhas and then <clears throat> Nam Shuddhanam. With Nama Bhas, this happens. With Nama Bhas, all the Prarabh karma is destroyed. Especially we should remember that. Note, one meaning of the word Brahma in Srila Rupa Goswami's text is Paramatma. That is the Paramatma feature of Bhagavan. So this is one meaning of Brahma and also I mentioned the Brahman aspect of the Absolute Truth. Further, Nigadditti Arthan. This is the meaning. Brahma Vidyaya Abhyu, abhyu Dityaya Sanjit Kriyamano Yo Punya Papa Yor Vinashleshesho Bhavata. By an increase of realization of the Supreme Being, Brahma Vidyaya Abhyud Dityaya. Destruction and disconnection of pious and impious reactions. Sanchit Kriyamanayo. Sanchit means accumulated. Kriyamanayo means operative. <clears throat> Punya papayor, pious and impious disconnection. Vinash leshyo. There is destruction you know, happening. Bhavata takes place. Okay, now uh, I want to know from the devotees. Uh, uh, here, anyone knows what is this Sanchit karma and Kriyamana karma? We know prarabdha karma and aprarabdha karma. I expect that. <laughs> but what is sanjit and kriyamana karma? Anyone knows? Raise your hands. Okay, there is one hand which is raised. Uh, yes, Vinita Mataji. Uh, Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Can you speak a little loudly, please? Hare Krishna Prabhuji. A little more louder. There is a problem with my earphones. Oh, no, then you will have to rectify it. You will have to type yeah. them in your message. I'll type it. I'll type it. Yeah. Yes, Ashok Matwa Prabhuji. Hare Krishna Prabhu Dandar. Yes. Sanchita karma is the accumulated karma over the period of our journey of life. Uh, it's millions and billions of years of existence and uh, karma uh, Riyamana Riyamana karma is the exist. I mean uh, karmas that we are performing in our day to day life as of now mm -hmm. okay excellent good understanding Sanjit is stored karma Kriya is ongoing karma <clears throat> okay Priya Mataji yes you have some different insight into this so, Kriya Mana means what we are doing now, producing in the for this current life. And the reaction of that may be slow or delayed. So, for that period of time, it becomes stored as a Sanchit. And according to the situation, it later on gives the result. And what is Kriya Sanchit then? Sanchit, the Kriya Mana, what we are doing now, if you are not doing Krishna conscious, that gets stored as a fall, as a beach. Uh, and then so many are stored for a longer period of time for delayed reaction. That is what is stored is Sanchit Karma. Okay. Okay, it's a good understanding. Only a little fine-tuning I would do. <clears throat> First, we'll take to the note. By an increase of the realization of the Supreme Being, two events take place. Destruction of the accumulated pious and impious reactions and disconnection of the operative pious and impious reactions. The accumulated is the Sanchit and the operative is called as the Kriyamana. Now here I have a chart. This is not there in the commentary. Now the Sanchit karma is the sum total of all karma which is stored and accumulated over millions of lifetimes. That is called as a Sanchit. Now out of the Sanchit, now this is compared to the, you know, Silo, a silo tank, you know, where traditionally rice which is grown, 
uh, year after year, you know, it is stored in this tanks, silo tanks. So that uh, accumulated store of uh, all the rice year after year is like the Sanchit Karma. And, you know, maybe one or two years the rice paddy was not so good quality. It's all stored. But we open the tap. When we open that tap, now there is no mark here. Uh, but you can say some mark here is Prarabdh Karma. The Prarabdh Karma which is going to be experienced in this life. Just like you open the tap on a particular day of that silo. Uh, when you open whatever rice you get, you know, that is what, you know, you're going to enjoy <laughs> eating it. So the prarabdh karma is within this life, you've got this body is because of prarabdh karma. And the prarabdh karma is what you're going to experience in this life. You're going to experience in this life. And within the prarabdha is the bija. Some of the prarabdh karma you are going to experience before your death. You are not experiencing. Maybe you are going to get a disease after 10 years or 15 years. So it is stored in the bija form. And it will manifest at that particular time. The bijam will become prarabdha. So this has this two divisions. The prarabdha has the bija and the uh, prarabdha karma. <clears throat> And a prarabd is what you are going to experience in the future life. Like the sum total of the Sanchit Karma is there. Huh. It is there. And uh, say in the next life, a particular set of karmas will be released. Like you again open the tap after some time. And then suddenly that... Uh, bad quality of rice which was grown, that all comes out. You know? So, <clears throat> a prarabdha karma is the future life experience or the next life onwards, future, unlimited lives, further. No, no, that is a prarabdha. And the a prarabdha has two divisions. One is kutam and bijam. Kutam is, you know, like in this life, you have done karma and your while Doing so, let me uh, first become clear with a prarab. So, a prarab and kutam kutam is that in this life, according to whatever uh, good karma you had, prarab you had, you have led that life, and you are destined in the next life to get a animal body. So that you know, formation of the body is in the form of a seed, which is called as kutam, and that will get in the form of a bija while getting birth in an animal species. Thus a kutum will become bija and then you will get a prarabd in the form of a dog's body. So the sinful reaction uh, flows from the a prarabd to the kutum, kutum to bija, bija to <coughs> prarabd. The sinful reaction comes in these four stages. So the Bhakti Rasamrit Sintu grows into more detail. Now, this is about a prarab and kutam. Prarab and bijam, we have made it clear. Now, the sum total is the sanchit. Now, kriyamana karma is while in this life we are experiencing the good and bad results, we are also doing actions. The actions might be pious or impious. So, these actions are going to give results. So, the reactions go and get stocked in the Sanchit Karma. And that is called as Kriyamana Karma. And then further, <clears throat> you know, it will flow from a Prarabdha to Kutam to Bijam to Falon Mukam. Falon Mukam is Prarabdha. So, that's what, uh, you know, is the Sanchit is the sum total of the Karma. Kriyamana Karma is uh, the operative Karma which you are doing karma, you are generating in this life, which will go back in the, you know, silo tank with the sum total of karma and which you are going to experience in the future life. So the point here, uh, what Balde Bhushan is making, that the Sanchit karma and the Kriyamana karma is destroyed, then what to speak, Prarabdha and Prarabdha will be definitely destroyed. <laughs> so that's the point being made. 
Okay, if you have any questions, you can always raise your hand. But I'm going ahead with the commentary. Ube u hevesha ete tarate amrita sadve asaduni iti shute. Okay, there are three questions on this. Let us take up these questions. Okay, there are two questions. Yes, Ashokatma Prabhuji. Prabhu, uh, I had no question. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, Priya, Priya Mataji. Uh, Prabhuji, in short, uh, can I understand Kutam and Bijam? Kutam, is it the propensity to again uh, do sinful reaction? And mm -hmm. then it forms a beach. Just in short, the difference exactly between Kutam and Bijam. Uh, basically, you know, you cannot understand it like that. <clears throat> uh, the Karma Bija, once you do an action, the reaction, karma here means the reaction, goes through four phases. A prarabdha, utam, bijam, falon mukam. Falon mukam is prarabdha. Now, this is how it flows. Now, a, that seed of reaction is not yet fructified only. It is going to fructify in the next life. Then it is a prarabdha. And the next life, it starts, you know, just fructifying. Then it is kutam. And then the seed is formed. Then it is bijam. And then, you know, actually the result, you know, you start experiencing the result. Then it is bijam. Like sometimes you get a symptom of a fever. You sense it. You get a premonition that you sense it in your dream or in your actual physical condition that, you know, something is going wrong, I might fall sick. And then actually fall sick. So that is from the bijam to the prarabdha you are experiencing. So similarly, uh, the accumulated karma comes in the form of a kuta where in the next life you are going to experience, you are going to feel that maybe I am getting a dog's body. <laughs> you know, you get in your premonition. And then, actually, the beach of the uh, dog body is inserted <clears throat> in the you know, sperm of the female dog and then you get a dog's body. So, like that, it is the karma bija which fructifies into this. Of course, there is that when we perform actions, the actions lead to habits. But that cycle is different from the karma bija. And that you cannot, uh, you know, uh, there is no doubt that there is a tendency to commit uh, those similar actions. Uh, but uh, the cycle of karma bija is from a prarabdha to kutam to bijam to prarabdha. Okay. Any other questions anyone has? Okay, fine. So here, uh, yes, Birendra Yadav Prabhuji. Just wanted to know what is the difference between karma bija and papa bija. Okay, yeah. Here only that uh, uh, point comes in the Bhakti Rasam Rasindu. Karma bija means <clears throat> the reaction phases from a prarabdha to kutam to bijam to falon mukam. That is prarabdha. Now, papa bija means that as we do sinful activities, uh, the propensity to commit sin, <clears throat> the desire to commit sin, <clears throat> that is what is called as a Papa Bija. That is different that compared to the Karma Bija. The Karma Bija is, once you do an action, you have to go through this reaction of a Prarabdha to Kutam to Bijan to Falun Mukam, that is Prarabdha. You cannot stop that. Once you are doing an action, the reaction goes through these four phases. But the Papa Bija is, as I mentioned, that when you perform any action, the propensity to commit those actions, like, you know, somebody is drinking alcohol, then the propensity to drink, you know, that habit is there, that desire is there. But the Jiva has the, you know, 
freedom to choose whether to do that act or no. Of course, the impressions push you. The kena prayuktayam papam charati pursha anichchana pi vashnaya baladeva niyojasa. So that papa is that papa bija, the desire to com commit sinful activity. So once he performs that sinful desire, then that sinful action goes through the karma bija of a prarabdha to kutam, to bijam, to falon mukam. That is prarabdha. I hope it is clear. Virendra, the first question. Yeah, okay. Okay. Ube u hai vishya ete tarate ambrataha sadhuva a sadhuni iti shute. For it is stated in Shruti, Iti Shute, certainly this immortal crosses over both these reactions, pious and impious. Ube, Ube means both. U, Haivisha, Evatarate, Amrita. Amrita means immortal. Sadhu, Asaduni, pious and impious. Now, there is again a footnote. Note, this immortal refers to a person being freed from his karmic reactions. So those who are freed from these karmic reactions, they only can, you know, uh, cross both these pious and impious. That means they are liberated. That's the point being made. Govind Basha on 4.114 states that this text is found in the Brahad Aranika Upanishads. So this is from the Brahad Aranika Upanishads. The Kanva recension of this Upanishads 4.422 has a similar text. Now, Kanva is a Muni and recension means a revised edition of the same, of this Upanishads. Phala dhanaya pravritte punya pape prarabdham karmuchate. Pious and impious reactions, papa punya, that have begun to yield their respective results. Phala dhanaya are called prarabdha karma. Prarabdha karma uchate. Uchate means it is said. So, that have begun to yield their respective results is prarabdha karma. So, the prarabdha karma definition is given. Tattu bhogeneva shiyate na tu brahma vidyaya tasya tavad eva chiram yavan na vimokshase iti shute. But that is destroyed only through experience of those results. Tattu, that, that means in the previous line here it is mentioned, the Papa and Punya. Bhoge neva shiyate. It is destroyed only through experience of those results. Not by realization of the Supreme Being. Na tu Brahma Vidya. For it is treated in the Shuti, iti Shute. For him who has attained realization of the Supreme Being, there is only that much delay as long as he is not free from his prarabdha karma. So this verse itself says that for who has attained realization of supreme, there is that much delay. How much there is the delay? As long as he is not freed from his prarabdha karma. And it also means as long as he has not experienced the results of his prarabdha karma. That's the point. <laughs> Tasya tavad eva chiram yavan na vimoksha se. So that's what. This is from the Chandogya Upanishad 6.14.2. Evam eva nirnitam bhagvata sutra karena. This is how it has been ascertained. Nirnitam. Evam. This is how. Eva. By the great author of the Vedan Sutra, Bhagavata Sutra Karena. So the author of the Vedan Sutra is Vyasadev. Tad Adigama Uttara Purvagayor Ashlesha Vinasho Tad Vyapa Deshat. When there is realization of the Supreme Being, there is disconnection and destruction of the later and the previous impious reactions. Because it is declared so. Uttara Purva Aga Yor. Uttara means <clears throat> later. Purva means previous. 
Aga means reactions, sin. Ashlesho, hmm? vinasho. There is destruction and disconnection. Adigama. Tad vyapadeshat. Because it is declared like that. Itrasyapi evam ashlesha pate tu. Anarabdha kare evatu purvae tad avadeha iti. But there is such disconnection and destruction of the pious reactions to upon death. Patetu. Patetu means patan, means death. Itrasyapi eva ashlesha. That is disconnection, destruction of the reaction is also upon death. But only the previous aprarabdha, pious and impious reactions are destroyed by realization of the Supreme Being. Since the destruction of the previous karmic reactions is limited by the experience of the results of that prarabdha karma. Anarabdha kare evatu purve tad avadeha iti. So here, uh, an important point is mentioned that sometimes when death happens, uh, death also destroys the prarabdha karma. The prarat karma. <clears throat> Sometimes uh, somebody is having, you know, a sinful propensity and habit of, say, drinking alcohol. He wants to leave alcohol. But because of the reactions which are coming and the papa bija, he continues to drink alcohol. Maybe sometimes he might be practicing spiritual life or he is uh, chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. <clears throat> We should not consider him a sinful person because he is trying his best. But the force of the Kriya Mahana Karma and the force of the reactions is there. <clears throat> He's trying his best. But because that flow is there, just like the fan which is off, but still the fan is moving. That force is there. So <clears throat> he might be continuing to practice and when death occurs, <clears throat> that propensity also of that uh, impious reaction gets disconnected and destruction happens. This is the point being made patetu at upon death. But here an important point is, but only the previous of the pious and impious reactions are destroyed by realization of the supreme being. So the prarabdha is destroyed. <clears throat> but the previous aprarabdha is there, the prarabdha is there. Prarabdha and uh, prarabdha, pious and impious reactions are there that are destroyed by the realization of the Supreme Being since the destruction of the previous karmic reaction is limited by the experience of the results of that prarabdha karma. <clears throat> this destruction of this previous karmic reactions, you know, is limited to this life where in this life the prarabdha has to be experienced. The results of the prarabdha has to be experienced. Now, this uh, three sutras, Itrasyapi Eva and then uh, Tad Adigama, you know, these are all from the Vedan Sutra 4, 1, 13, uh, 14 and 15. So these, this is the one, this is the second one and this is, this is the first one. Tad Adigama Uttara and Itarasyapi Eva Ashlesh Patetu and Anarabdha Kare Eva. These are the three sutras. These are all from Vedan Sutra. Okay. Esham Artascha and the meaning of these sutras is as follows. Now further, Valdevidya Bhushan is giving the meaning of these three sutras which he has quoted. Tad Adigame Brahma Anubhave Satya Uttar Purvayo Kriyamana Sanchitayor Agayor Ashlesha Vinasho Sta Tad Vyapadeshat Shuto Tatukter Iti When there is realization of Supreme Brahman Brahma Anubhave Tad Adigame There is disconnection and destruction of the later and the previous Uttara Purvayo That is the operative and accumulated impious reactions. <clears throat> Kriyamana Sanchitayor. 
बिकॉज इट इज डिक्लेयर सो तद व्याप्ते शोक्तेर इति बिकॉज इट इज स्टेटेड इन द श्रुति सो विद द रियलाइजेशन ऑफ द ब्राह्मण देर इज डिस्कनेक्शन ऑफ द क्रियमान एंड द संचित बिकॉज इट इज डिक्लेयर तत उक्तेर इत इट इज डिक्लेयर इन द श्रुति ओके नाउ द नेक्स्ट इतरस्य एवं असंश्लेशो विनाशस्य च देहस्य प्रारब्ध रचितस्य पते तो इति पूर्वे अनारब्ध कारे संचिते पाप पुण्य विद्या विनाशत न तो आरब्ध कारे च ते तन्नाशस्य भोग अवदितवात् iti there is also such disconnection and destruction of the other itarasya punya punyasya apya evam asamshlesho vinashasya cha dehasya that is of pious reactions but upon the fall of the body composed of one's prarabd karma there will be liberation cha dehasya prarabd rachitasya pate tu moksha syad iti the previous aprarabdha karma iti purve anarabdha anarabdha is aprarabdha please remember kare that is the accumulated pious and impious and pious reaction sanchit pape punya vidyaya but not the operative reactions or prarabdha karma to are destroyed by realization of the supreme being <clears throat> since the destruction of the prarabdha karma is limited by the experience of the results of that prarabdha karma the anarabdha kare anarabdha kare is the previous aprarabdha sanchit and papa and punya the operative and the uh, sanchit accumulated <clears throat> sorry uh, uh, i beg your pardon the accumulated pious and impious reactions that is anarabde <clears throat> sanchit papa punya vidyaya vinashato it is destroyed by realization <clears throat> na tu anarabd kare chate tad nashasya bhog avaditvat iti the destruction of the prarabd karma is limited by the experience of the results of that prarabd karma that means when you got, get a body according to prarabdha karma that prarabdha karma has to be experienced in this life you have to experience the prarabdha karma and that's how the destruction happens that's how it happens <clears throat> the previous accumulated pap and punya <clears throat> is destroyed by realization of the supreme brahman but not the operative karma the operative karma that destruction has to be experienced by experiencing the results of the prarabdha karma i hope it is very clear tatcha prarabdham karma nam uccharanad apa gacchati iti so this is you know uh now the glory of the holy name that prarabd karma goes away by uttering the holy name for it is stated in the shruti just naam uchcharan now uttering of the holy name means naam <laughs> and naam should at least mean nama bhas or shuddh naam not nama prad because nama prad will not destroy prarabd karma it's only naam <laughs> that is the point so iti shruti you know it is mentioned in the shruti so there here it is quoted even in the shruti this is being mentioned tasyod iti naam sa esh sarvebhya papebhya udita uddeta hove sarve pap pap mabhyo e yah evam veda iti shruti his name tasyod iti naam is said to be transcendental this person is transcendental to all sins 
स एष सर्वेभ्य पापेभ्य उदित उदेत ह वे सर्वे पापमाभ्यो यह एवं वेद एंड इंडीड कॉजेस अदर्स टू ट्रांसेंड ऑल सिंस नाउ दिस इज द क्वालिटी दिस पर्सन हु इज चैंटिंग द नाम द नाम इज ट्रांसेंडेंटल द पर्सन इज ट्रांसेंडेंटल टू ऑल सिंस एंड देन by his touch other people who are sinful they will transcend sin so this is the glory <laughs> you know darshane pavitra karo ei tumar gun narottam das tarakur is singing about the glory of the pure devotee just by your darshan you know i become purified he who knows him does <clears throat> he who knows him does Hmm. note this translation is in line with the remark of acharya baldev that follows next so this is uh, from the shruti and there is a remark given by baldev devushan the original statement in the shruti tasyod iti nama should be then be understood to mean tasya nama udd iti uchyate yata udd is there udd is not to be taken as a proper noun a name of the lord rather it is an adjective describing the holy name of the lord meaning uch above or high that is transcendental so udd is not you know noun it has nothing to do with a it's a proper noun it is not the name of the lord actually it is an adjective to noun uchcharana we say na no? uchcharana means loud chanting so here uch it means uch or high or transcendental uttama tama is darkness uttama means that who one who has transcended darkness so similarly this refers to nam that means transcendental name which is why the upanishads describe the lord is as the one who is transcendental and who makes others other transcendental okay further just as when the same upanishad says just one sentence before that the lord's eye are lotuses it doesn't mean it literally pundrik pundrikam evam akshini it intends to say that his eyes are like lotuses here the word pundrikam lotus is taken to be an adjective describing akshini similarly naam udd udd is an adjective describing naam that naam is transcendental <coughs> so it is with udd and naam his holy name is transcendental udd so i hope you got this you know this is because grammar sometimes it is difficult to understand this is again from the chandogya upanishads atrod iti bhagavan naam upasnaya sarva papa gama mokti prarabdhasyap gama spashtah here the rumol of prarabdh karma is clear spashta from the statement that all sinful reactions are removed by the worship of the holy name of the supreme personality godhead that is said to be transcendental bhagavad naam upasana now we should remember uh, that we should worship the holy name and to worship the holy name one should chant very attentively with full concentration that is bhagwan naam upasana and only when we start doing this kind of a sadhana then we can expect that the prarabdh karma is completely destroyed sarva papa gama ukti ukti means ukte ukte means it is destroyed there is removal ittam abipretam satyayahi patyata patyanti intending this the satyayanis recite these vedic hymns satyayani is a vedic hymn i think from the vedas tasya putra dayam upayanti suridha sadu krityam dushanta pap krityam iti his sons attain his property tasya putram dayam his well wishes his pious reactions sadu krityam surida surida means the well wishers sadhu kritya pious reactions and his 
ill wishers his impious relations. Dushata papakrityam. Now this needs an explanation. Note, this is about a soul who is being liberated from material existence. So a soul who is liberated from material existence, it is said <coughs> that <coughs> tasya putra dayam his sons attain his property. That means, you know, uh, the spiritual merits of bhakti merits, even their sons get it. <clears throat> and his well-wishers get the pious reactions. And those who are, you know, who talk ill about him, <clears throat> you know, the sinful reactions, <laughs> they get the sinful reactions. In the Jagai Madai pastime, when they were delivered by Mahaprabhu, and they went to the assembly and there was a loud chanting of the holy name. Gauranga Mahaprabhu transformed into Sham Sundar because all the sinful reactions of Jagan Mada, he took it. And then Mahaprabhu did further chant. And with that chanting, again Mahaprabhu turned into golden form. And then Mahaprabhu said, those who are offenders, those who criticize, you know, Vaishnavas, all these papa will go and sit <laughs> in them. So this is the being point also, same point being made here. Kausit, kausit kinas cha and the kaushit, kaushit, kaushitakis uh, recite. Tasya sukrita dushkata vidunute tasya priya gyataya sukritam upayanti a priya dushkritam iti. He removes his pious and impious reactions. His loving relatives attain his piety. And those hateful of him attain his impiety. Kau si taki Upanishads. This is the Kausikiti Upanishad. So two references are given. One is the Satyayani and the Kausikiti. Kau siti Kau taki. <coughs> Sorry, my throat is today. Evam aha Bhagavan Sutra Karaha. The great author of the Vedan Sutra states thus. Ato nyapi hi ekesham ubayo iti. Therefore, in the case for some, for there is another text regarding pious and impious reactions. This is from the Vedan Sutra 4.1.17. Asyartha ekesham nam ekanti nam paramaatura nam vineva bhogat prarabdayo sukrita dushkatayor ashlesho bhavati iti svi Karyam, its meaning, asyartha, it should be accepted that for some, that is, for those exclusively dedicated to the holy name, ekesham nama ekanti nam. Now, here again, the point is to be noted that those who are exclusively devoted, dedicated to the holy name. So, this is where we need to work on. We should become, you know, uh, exclusively dedicated to the worship of the holy name. Who are supremely anxious, aturanam, paramaturanam, supremely anxious to attain the supreme personality of Godhead. So there are two criteria. One is exclusively dedicated to the holy name, and there is supremely anxious to attain the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So these are the two criteria. And one of the symptoms of Bhava Bhakti is Samutkanta. There is constant Utkanta to attain. When will I, the Lord, give me darshan? There is disconnection of Prarabh Karma in the form of pious and impious reactions without experience of the results of that Prarabh Karma. Vineva. Vineva means without. Bhogat prarabdayo sukrita dishkatayo ashlesha bhavat bhavati iti svi karyam. Because there is a set of Shruti texts that propounds that teaching, such as his sons attain his property. He esma tasya tavad eva chiram. Apart from the set of Shruti texts, such as from him who has attained realization of the Supreme Being, there is only that much. Delay. Tasya putra dayam iti adhika tad artika shutir astiti. Stating that prarabdha karma can be destroyed through experience of its results. 
So here it is for devotees. For devotees, how it happens? It happens for those who are exclusively dedicated to the Holy Name. They are supremely anxious to attain the Supreme Personality of Godhead. There is disconnection of Prarabdha Karma. Without the experience of that, Prarabdha Karma... <clears throat> Okay. Now, there's a footnote. Note, we can note with profit that Prarabh Karma is only disconnected from those who are exclusively dedicated to hearing, chanting and remembering the holy names of the Supreme Personality Godhead and by implication, constantly avoiding the 10 offenses to the holy names. That means you have to cross the Namaprath stage who are supremely anxious to attain his loving devotional service. So, two criteria. I already brought it out. Srila Baldevi Devotion's complicated commentary on this verse has been simplified and summarized by Dr. Bhakti Nath in his explanation. So we'll go to his explanation and then things will become more clear. But uh, it's already time up. So we'll take Bhakti Nath Thakur's explanation, which is quite short uh, in the next class. But do you have any questions till now? Okay, there's only one question. Which will take up. Yes. Priya Mataji. Oh, Prabhuji, when you said the name is transcendental and the person uttering the name is transcendental, is it referring to Uttama Adhikari? Just by the touch, everyone becomes transcendental. Yes. Definitely it refers to an Uttama Adhikari who chants the Shuddha Naam. Yes. He's and the other... And just by coming in touch with him, you know, people will transcend sins. Okay. And then he will get the Adhikar to chant the name and then... From there on, they should avoid the ten offenses, come to Nama Bas, and then they should come to Shuddhana. That's their journey. Okay. So, Kanishta and Madhyam are still... Uh, uh, is it depending on the chanting? Are they in the Karma uh, Bij or the Papa Bij and still uh, going through Anartha Nivriti? Is it like... Yes. Basically, those who are chanting the holy name, uh, if they are committing offense, they are on the Nama Prat stage. And only one who is on the Namabha stage is a Madhya Madhikari. And the symptom of that, Mahaprabhu explains, Nirantara Namaloy. He is continuously chanting the holy name. That means he is dedicated to chanting the holy names, worshipping Nam Upasana is doing. So very soon he will come to this stage where the complete destruction of the Prarabdha and the Prarabdha will come. That is at the end of Asakti. Because Vaidhi Sadhana Bhakti ends with Asakti and Bhava Bhakti. Uh, begins with uh, that is bhava bhakti or prema bhakti that is uh, sadhya so sadhana uh, is uh, divided into vaidhi sadhana and raganu sadhana and it is from shraddha till asakti and especially from nishta to asakti is uh, raganuga sadhana so you can say like that yes definitely okay and just one more in short when you said the sun attains the property meaning the person who is chanting and leaves the body the the sun attains the property means the sun uh, attains the property means all the devotional credits you know the sun attains that and their well wishers attain all his pious credits and those who offend them the sinful reactions whatever he had they will get that <laughs> that's why we should uh, not find faults in devotees because when we find faults in devotees those faults you know, will come to us. <laughs> okay. And even praising the well-wishers. Uh, so, instead of praising someone, can we still uh, request him to chant? Can we get out of that pious also? What that does mean, actually? I'm not getting a question. Uh, suppose while praising that person, we get the pious, you're saying? No, 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 no. That's not the understanding what you're getting. <clears throat> he, the... There is the pious and the impious reactions. Now, for the chanter, he has to experience the pious reactions in order to destroy. And he has to experience the sinful reactions in order to get destroyed. But he doesn't undergo that. So his pious reactions, <clears throat> uh, his well-wishers will get. Those who are very favorable to him, they will get. So, they will become very opulent. 
and they have become opulent not by their own pious reactions because this person you know is well wisher this sadhu if they are somehow related to him because of him they have become well wishers and those who are criticizing him his sinful reactions will go they will suffer that get the point yeah so this pious is bhakti pious you mean no okay it uh, means the uh, this is punya. Just punya this is punya okay karmutta punya okay not uh, you know bhakti utta punya the bhakti utta punya will they his sons will get tasya putra okay. so that's what so should we instead of praising someone should we oh, again again you are getting the point wrong you are getting the point wrong we are not speaking here about praising just like the devotee praises someone praises oh, well wish sir okay okay now i am another devotee yeah, yeah, that is, I... that has nothing to do here please understand here what is being said that the chanter has pious and impious reactions which is prarabdha this pious reaction will go to the well wishers and the impious reactions will go to those who are dushata that is the point being made yes prabhu ji thank you yeah. ashok atma prabhu ji yes last question yeah hari krishna prabhu uh, this is in continuation of mata ji's question regarding sons get the uh, property of uh, you know uh, the devotees so now uh, coming to the namabas state i don't know how i am going to reach that particular stage but whatever that we are practicing now that is sadhana we are doing you know daily chanting 16 rounds and practicing regulative principles attending this classes and all those things will that also result in uh, getting the share in the properties of i mean i mean to say this pious results of our devotees the bhakti bhakti credits these are Yeah, because uh, there was a question yesterday in one of the classes we See, are attending. First thing you have to understand, Tasya Putra is the bhakti credits, hmm. and depending on your sadhana, your purity, to that degree they will attain. Oh, yeah. To that degree. Because sometimes, are... sorry, sometimes we know that you know our children may not be practicing, may not be coming to this path, but because of our sadhana, can we expect that our children also get this? Uh, share yes definitely they will get it there is no doubt about it there is absolutely no doubt about it yeah in this uh, life would say yeah they will get it how krishna will arrange that but yeah. we should remember by our lifestyle bhakti lifestyle we should set a right example <clears throat> otherwise you know they will you know become against us by trying to preach to them by trying to force them you know they can become against we should only expose them favorably to spiritual impressions so they are inspired naturally to take up krishna consciousness but because of ahankar sometimes he is my son you know he should take up to bhakti and you try to force then they become against so then we are not doing preaching we are not doing acharan because Uh, an example is better than a precept so they will see your example and they will you know become favorable and you know then there is a favorable environment for the transmission happening and the transmission of that bhakti credits will happen so that is also a responsibility which we have i hope it is clear yes thank you hari okay. okay last question sham sundar prabhu ji the question has to be connected to the discussion what we are having okay. hari krishna prabhu ji nandot yes. pranam yes my question is that prabhu the the people who are suffering impious reaction in this material world and uh, for example some uh, impious because of impious reaction they are give, getting some disease and the doctor give him medicine to cured and give him suggestion and that doctor will get the reaction, uh, uh, his uh, karma what <laughs> is yes anyway don't go into that much <clears throat> gahana karmano gati in the gita it is said the way of actions of the whole karma 
you know how it works we cannot understand so you know you cannot generalize such things and you need not go into it also and try to understand but what is the reality one minute one minute just hold on you just cannot understand how the actions of karma are working even in our life we cannot understand what karma is stored in for us best is just focus you know on our sadhana you know if you know this happens you know what kind of karmic reaction is going to get what kind of you know don't you know oh if i laugh you know am i no. accumulating pious reactions you no, know like if, that you know, some devotees no, no, should, if, should, no hold on hold on we should not go into that zone first of all that's my point you know if you go into that thinking you know you will get um, a paralysis of analysis you know oh whether you know he yeah. like this to him what kind of you know whether this reaction will go to him or it will go to that so we should not get into this you know basically we should focus on our sadhana mm. and get a clear understanding of the concepts how it is happening you know the way it is working it is impossible for us to understand it is impossible that's what krishna says gahana karmano gati or oh, whether this doctor you know will get the reaction again there are many factors involved you know whether that doctor is pious or impious what is the karma of that doctor you know you know so there is complex you know there is a complex chain going on so it is difficult for us to decipher and we should have the general understanding and the concept hmm. should practice our krishna consciousness okay, okay. thank you thank you prabhu swati kulkarni mata ji हरे कृष्णा प्रभु जी एम आई ऑडिटर यस प्रभु जी आई वांटेड टू आस्क दैट समटाइम्स वी पास सम लाइक सम नॉर्मल कमेंट्स अबाउट डिवोटीज एज इफ देयर सम वर्क वी आस्क और देयर सम हेल्प वी आस्क टू दीस डिवोटीज एंड दे डिडंट डू वी जस्ट से दिस दैट this is not right they should have done this work they should have helped us at that time so this normal comment we uh, pass about these uh, such i mean devotees so should we um, don't do this as well or no basically i got your point basically you have to understand when it comes to service you know uh, what is the right way to be done what is the wrong way and getting things rightly for the service of the lord and this all is part of the management for the services this has nothing to do with you know uh, you know criticism but out of malice out of envy we find fault with the devotee and we criticize then that can be something which is detrimental to our spiritual life and that can constitute vaishnava prab but you know uh, with respect to service you know how it is to be rightly done you have done it wrong way and this is how rightly it has to be done all this you know has nothing to do with uh, vaishnava prad or being critical or criticizing a vaishnava uh, criticism is born out of uh, envy this is first to be understood where you find fault with that devotee you know and that is a vast subject which we cannot deal now but this is a general understanding i hope it is clear many devotees have this misconception you know if i you know tell him to do the right way oh i am committing an offense no it's not committing offense <laughs> vaishnava aparad what constitutes vaishnava aparad we have to understand i'll just make that point if we see purvatpanna before he coming to krishna consciousness maybe he had a sinful habit of drinking oh he is a drunkard if you comment like this and find fault without any uh, good purpose then you are criticizing that vaishnava and he has some tendency uh, because of the sinful reactions of maybe some actions which he is doing which are not as per shastra and he is you know working on it but then you find that dosh and you comment then it becomes a vaishnava aparad or sometimes because of daiva utpanna uh, he commits something abominable or something wrong and you find fault and you criticize then it constitutes vaishnava prab otherwise what is right way to execute us in this what is wrong and if you have done wrong also correcting and making it right 
that at all has nothing to do with Vaishnava Prad. I hope it is clear. Yes, Prabhuja, and it is applicable for Kanishtha Adhikari as well. What is applicable for Kanishtha? I, I mean, uh, what you said right now, not it only for... For everyone, Kanishtha, everyone. Madhyama and Uttama, everyone. Okay, okay. It's applicable for Thank all. Thank you so much, Prabhuja. Okay. Thank you very much. Srila Prabhupada ki jai, Sri Namashtaka ki jai, Srila Rupa Swami Pad ki jai, Hare Krishna.